morning everybody today is what what is today and yes i'm on my phone today is going to be a good day so we are going to run to walmart we are going to uh, get some elf products i think i want to do well i definitely want to do a full face of elf today um that's something that i've never done i've never used like day foundation powders anything like that eyeshadow palettes things like that so we're gonna run to walmart or i have to go anyway because your girl got a stomach virus and i they got me on some promethazine so i need to wash this face we're about to head out to walmart and yeah keep watching oh, and look as i'm actually coming outside to leave i got my boxy charm this is small why is so little i don't know so I'll take that in and that'll be another video. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Don't talk about my socks, y'all. Like I said, your girl. Whew. But yeah, it's pretty. Oh snap, I almost dropped the phone, y'all. It is a pretty day out here. And whoo, this coronavirus shit is real. I want y'all to see how fat, how long it take me to get to Walmart, okay? And I know I ain't got my seatbelt on, but this is how fast I get to Walmart. Like, for real, for real. And yes, I got the transition. So, if you see them, see them flip to the dark from the clear, your girl is blind. Okay? <laughs> only, on one, only on one eye, though. Look, hold on. No. <laughs> I'm legit. Legit, legit. At Walmart. I'm just turning into the parking lot now. Like this is, this is how toxic this relationship with Walmart is. Like, let me know down below if you got a relationship like this with Walmart. <laughs> like they say, um, at Disney World they spray shit to make you want to buy stuff and everything like that. Like I swear that's how it is at Walmart. I, it's the same thing it's what our walmart looking like it ain't super deep they just opened though so i just picked up the medicine now we're gonna go over here to where elf is and get some elf makeup so they got a little selection they got a little selection they got a whole wall so first we need primer. First we need our primer. We got it up here. We got our pretty much everything. So I'm going to grab everything that we need and get the video started. So I'm over here. I think I want to try this one too. This kaleidoscope one. I'm going to grab that and do a review on that later. Alright, so I got everything. And yeah, we about to have fun. But welcome back to my channel, guys. Per usual, it's your girl, Miss Janine. Miss Janine. And today we are doing a full face of Elf. So um, if you've seen the videos before, like kind of vlog lifestyle, let me know if y'all like that too. But um, I went to Walmart. Walmart is right around the corner from me. And picked up all of this stuff from Elf. Some of the stuff I already had. And excuse the little, my little twist situation. I was being real lazy. I washed my hair and went to the hospital the other day. Your girl got a stomach virus, okay? So, I'm thinking they about to give me, like, some pills for my stomach. They done gave me a whole suppository. Well, it's always something going on with me. But uh, the other day, I went to the doctors and I had a virus. I had a stomach virus. Not the coronavirus. No, not that. So, um, as I said earlier, we're going to do a full face of e.l.f. And so, I like e.l.f. brushes. Like, I always get, like, e.l.f. or wet and wild brushes. They only be, like, $1, $2, $3, something like that. So, it's going to be a little nice to actually use some of their products. Now, one thing I will say far as, like, 
the foundation that I've seen, they didn't really have like a selection and stuff like that. And so I'll be sure to like try to put like, I guess when I was at the store, kind of show um, exactly what I did see. Um, but I have the concealer, I got a palette, I got some highlighter, I got some mascara, some uh, uh, eyebrow pencil, which I know I love powder, but today we're gonna do an eyebrow pencil. Um, I have a uh, bronzer, but since they didn't have any like powder my color, like finishing powder my color or anything, I'm just gonna use that, I guess. And then uh, some blush. So I got a couple of items and I cannot wait to use them. So the first item that we do have, it is the Luminous Putty Primer. It is the Universal Glow one. This one is infused with hyaluronic acid and vegan collagen. So that's what this one looks like. And I believe this one was, let me see how much this one was. Uh, this, it was $8. Um, so we're going to start with that. It says apply a thin, even amount on clean and moisturized skin prior to makeup application. It's allowed to set for 30 uh, seconds. Uh, now, also while I'm doing this, I'll continue reading. It says, uh, it is a luminous blurring primer, has a velvety texture that glides effortlessly over the skin to smooth imperfections and add a soft glow infused with hyaluronic acid and uh, vegan collagen help to plump up the skin, keep it fresh and hydrated. The result, a smooth and blurred uh, radiant complexion. So, let's see. I've never used the primers. The putty primers, but I remember, uh, it smell like anything. It don't smell like nothing. Um, let me see. It has like a, almost like a wax-like texture. So I'm gonna take a little bit of it out. Probably like this much, that much out. And just basically put it where like my, my problem areas are. So just here, around here. And up in my forehead, I do feel it almost feel like you know how like bomb lip balm is. That's what it feel like. It feel like a lip balm, but again, it really don't smell like nothing. It do how you feeling a little smooth though. I will. I get that tone. It how you feeling super smooth. So y'all know I, I'm for like the eyebrow game. So I am going to go in with is a ultra precise brow pencil. This is in a uh, neutral brown, I believe. It says create full natural looking brows with this pe precision pencil. The micro slim shape defines and fills gaps and mimics the look of real hair. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it has like the little spoolie at the end and then the top part. So let me swatch it real quick. ashy too my bad y'all so let's see I don't know how to use this for real I like it though it did it quick it did a little a lot quicker than I guess I do my powder and I just shape it shape it kind of how I want it to look not bad at all compared to this one. It do give it a supernatural look. Um, it is hard, a little on the hard side, which is fine. I like it. Okay, so these are done. Y'all know my brows don't ever be twinning, okay? So don't come for me, and plus this is the first time I'm ever using this. We're going to dip into this concealer. So I did get the hydrating uh, full covered satin finish camo ones. Um... Yeah, I don't know what they look like. If you don't know what they look like, look at that. Got the little thing on the side to show us that uh, what it looks like. Um, they got the big doe fuzz, and this one is medium beige. I actually got three of them. So I got uh, deep cinnamon and rich ebony. Deep cinnamon, I'm gonna try to use like as a corrector, and then rich honey, I'm gonna use for my contour. So, and then uh, medium beige, I'm gonna use for like the highlighter. So we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see if these babies 
work or not. So when you take it out, you just get your basic little packaging, nothing too, too major, but you do get this big ass dofa. Like you get a big ass dofa. <laughs> so I am going to use this as an eyeshadow uh, primer and I'm gonna do the eyebrows just a little bit. Um, but we are going to go into this. So that is what this looks like. So you get a nice little range of color. You got some yellow in there and some sparkles. Um, I think you got some foils. You got a little bit of glitter situation in there. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with this today. I rarely do like bright colors. I've been feeling like doing like a little bright color look. So we are gonna do that today. So I am going to go ahead and prime my eyebrows and um, go around my eyebrows with concealer and then we're gonna hop straight into this palette. Okay, so I have my eyes um, done <laughs> and I don't know if that highlight gonna be my highlight y'all, but we are gonna make it work. So like I said, we are gonna go in with their um eyeshadow palette well, i don't have a mirror so i'm gonna have to like multitask heavily on here so i'm gonna turn a little bit so i can be faced this way and so i think i'm gonna just go in with peachy which is just a a little basic little you feel me little beige situation and then um i'm gonna go in with a a smaller like not a super super long so let me see far as Oh, she's a little dusty. She's a little dusty. But, I mean, everybody used to that by now. Like, everybody make it seem like fallout is such a bad thing. Fallout just mean either they're loosely pressed or, I mean, we got pigment. So, oh, we definitely got some pigment. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can, and I can definitely tell. So, I'm going to just, I'm basically just using this to set it. I'm gonna just go in with the yellow. We just, we're gonna do it. So the yellow on here is called Solar and I'm gonna use the same, uh, same brush that I use. Solar doesn't fall out as much as uh, that peachy color did, but here's that. And so, gonna see how, how pigmented it can get. And I'm really, really trying to, you know, get it up here. This one is pressed way different. I can tell it's a lot harder. But it is, it is, it is a little light. You gotta, you definitely have to build it up and I'm pressing low key hard. All right, so I'm taking the green now and the green is called Evergreen. And so that's what Evergreen is looking like. And I'm gonna focus that more so here, kinda in the middle. So I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do. That yellow is trash, I'm sorry. <laughs> the yellow is trash. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with this blue over here. I'm gonna see what this blue looks like. So the yellow has disappeared. 
completely. So on the other side, I'm going to try to blend upwards. And then I'll be back with that to see if they're actually going to be matching. Okay, so that look took a whole turn. I didn't mean it to even look like this, but this is the look that we have. Now, one thing I will say about this, and this palette was actually $14. That is low-key, high-key, like patchy. And so I'll like, I'll be sure to like really zoom in what I'm talking about. I don't know if y'all can see, like right here is, is like patchy. Like it's really, really patchy. So that's the only thing I would say, like it's low, like even right there on my lid, like you can see like where the blue is supposed to be and stuff. But from the front, it looks decent. Like it looked decent from this way, but it's super patchy and stuff and it's low key, high key, hard to blend. We are going to keep moving. So um, I guess we can get into this foundation. I do want to clean up like the edges to make them more crisp. So I did get some makeup remover pads from e.l.f. Um, I think these were six and you get like two packs. So I told y'all we doing everything from e.l.f. Okay, I didn't, I didn't leave nothing out. I, well, I tried not to. Um, a lot of the stuff just wasn't in my shade or just wasn't there. So I'm gonna see how well it take this off. Okay, that's about good. So. We gonna crisp these eyes up a little bit more. So yeah, it cleans up. It cleans up really, really good. And I, I mean, I don't even hate the look that I just did, but it did. These clean up real, real nice. So I'm glad I got these six dollars. Now we are going to try this foundation. Now this is was the darkest one that they had is caramel. It's supposed to have a satin finish. You are supposed to um, apply a small amount starting at the center of your face and blend outwards using fingertips of sponge, foundation brush, layer as needed. Um, this is caramel and it has uh, neutral undertones and this is a uh, shade 450. So that is what this looks like. Definitely medium because you can see everything under. Like you can see everything under. So that's no foundation. This is with foundation. I mean the the finish is nice though. I give them that, but damn, for this to be the darkest shade, like and I I would say this area is predominantly was mixed. Okay, never mind. It is predominantly white. I'm not going even say nothing like that because you know how sometimes stores cater to whatever is you know area wise and stuff so it's not bad it's not as bad as i as i thought it was but i'm definitely going to go over it <sighs> so that was two pumps so i'm going to do two more pumps and i'm going to go in with the beauty blender and i'm going to do this set now y'all know i take the back of the beauty blender and i Dab off to the side a little bit and then kind of go in. 
yeah this is not my shade at all but once you contour like if you get a color that's really not your shade or too light you can contour and really really make it look like it's your color but this is medium like medium to light low key because either i'm blending everything away or yeah but y'all can see two pumps on this side two pumps on this side beauty blender brush i look dead <laughs> i look hella dead so like i said this is supposed to be buildable this is um and this is the darkest shade that was at walmart just to build it a little bit more because it is this is like medium to light like light to medium for real for real like i don't this ain't no medium and stuff so i'm going to try to deepen it up a little bit by not blending it too much but then again you can't really deepen it on me down okay so i am going to attempt to fix this with i'm gonna highlight just a little bit i'm gonna try to color correct matter of fact because that's why i got this one so we are going to be using deep cinnamon to attempt to color correct but deep cinnamon might be my highlight shade just based off of what this foundation is so i have to correct the whole color of everything so this is what deep cinnamon looks like so that's what deep cinnamon looks like and so I might actually throw this on top of this foundation to kind of even everything out. So I'm going to color correct around my mouth, under my eyes, and wherever else sees fit. So we're going to take this dofa. We're going to take whatever is on the dofa and go around my mouth. Yeah, this is more... This is more like my color, so I think this is going to color correct really, really good. And I'm also going to go under the eye a little bit. So I'm going to do that, and then I am going to go around and blend. Yeah, that's actually more of my color. So I'm gonna just take the whatever is left and mix it with that foundation that's actually on to just try to help it out a little bit. And then I'm also gonna go under the eye. Yeah, I, I like that color better. So I think I'm gonna actually take a little bit, a little, little bit of it and put it on my forehead too. This helped it out a lot. This is helped. I'm still a little light, but this is more manageable. So now I'm gonna go in with highlight. I'm gonna go back in with the beige, with the medium beige. I'm gonna use a little bit. That's all I'm using. <laughs> uh, under it, I'm gonna use a little bit of what I just used to color correct. Oh yeah, if y'all was wondering what color am I, is my actual foundation, I'm Coconut in uh, Fit Me, and I think I'm 320 in uh, Fenty. So, let's watch this really quick. So this is, that is rich, what did I say? <laughs> Uh, rich ebony so that's what rich ebony looks like and we are going to take her ever so lightly as well we're gonna bop 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 and do it right here right here like cause she dark she a little on the dark side right there there 
chin. Oh, we forgot to highlight our chin. So a little boop on the chin. That might be too much. So I'm gonna offset it with this one. So take my blender and go under. super ass highlighted look or anything like that but i do want to try this it's hd soft luminous uh this is a high definition loose powder it can creates a soft focus effect on your skin help help mask fine lines and imperfections for radiant a radiant looking complexion so let me make sure these are nice we're nice and kind of still a little moist and then i am going to go in with this I have about this much in there y'all know I go and I dip my beauty blend I'm doing everything that I normally do so I dip it in I dip it in my beauty blender I dip some off oh that's nice and I put it under the only place where I'm putting it so I grab some more and then do this one now this has like I don't know if y'all can see it it has like little uh little shimmers in it too so I'm gonna just take everywhere where we get highlighted yeah I know I'm trying to get to the chance everywhere where we highlight it and I'm just dabbing off and going everywhere that we highlight it. And I'm basically under natural sunlight. I don't like it too much, so I'm going to use the back to kind of dull it down a little bit. It do give you like an extra, like snatch. I will say that. It do give you an extra little little something. So, again, I'm going I'm to do what I always do. And I'll cut, cut that just a little bit, and then cut this one, Ooh. cut it just a little bit. The next product that I do have from them is a primer infused bronzer, it's Forever Sun Kiss. Maybe that's the name of the shade because I don't have like an overall powder, and it looks like that. Damn, that might not be my. <laughs> Yo. But you know what? I do have like some old elf that I got, and this is called Toffee. It's like a little finishing powder. This is old, but I'm going to attempt to use this to bronze or contour with. You know, the black girls like to say it's bronze, and now and I just have like a fluffy brush. This is elf's. So I'm just going to take that and go over where we that uh concealer down Whew. all right y'all Okay, so 
we got um, some blush as well, like a peachy, which I like these type of blushes. It's like a pink little color. So I'm gonna take that same brush. Oh, she got some pigment on her. I seen it fly off. And then just smile. And this is a super light one. But you guys can see it. Primer infused bronzer. I just want to see. I'm gonna go up under my eye with it. No, I'm not like. A metallic flare with metallic flare highlighter white gold so I'm gonna just swirl I'm gonna swirl it in there oh it's not that bad you can see it though I'm not a huge, like, I need my shit blinding. But I like it. It's cute. So I already put on, like, my eyeliner and my uh, winged liner. Uh, Ayiko is the liquid. And then I use, what is this, Eye Appeal. I, what is this, Bobbi Brown? I think it's Bobbi Brown. I could be wrong. Um... So while that's doing this thing, we're gonna do the lips. So I have two different ones. I have a lip lacquer, which is basically like a thicker lip gloss and then a lip plumping gloss. So the lip, um, the thicker lip gloss, uh, well lip lacquer, I'll be correct, is called Wild Rose and the lip plumping gloss is called Sparkling Rose. So they look like this, both basically very similar um, I wanted to see what was the texture of them really very really quick so I'm not gonna put any liner or anything on I didn't find any um, so we gonna go just straight straight on the lips so I like these type of dofas um, you do get that so I am going to fish out some and throw it on the left so this one is is It's light, but you can see it. And you can definitely see it better on camera. You can see it better on camera. So that's this one, which is very, I feel like a thicker, thicker gloss actually. So let me see what this one looks like. This one looks thicker and the dopa on this one is way different. So get some out, throw this on top. Yeah, this one more, you can see it better. You can see this one way better.
I think they're both probably great toppers for something. This one definitely I can I can feel it already is doing like the plumping thing, like the, the tingling sensation. But probably a good topper for something else. We need more of a dramatic eye situation. So I'm gonna use one of the ones from um my lash video that I did, and I'll be sure to link it somewhere up above because I really, really want the look to pull together versus looking very, very like I don't know this is a bold eye so you have to wear like a bold lash with stuff like this i feel like anyway so that's what i'm going to grab i will be right back and then we'll kind of discuss everything as far as like what i would recommend and what i wouldn't okay so here is the final look with everything um so we are going to go everything i did actually um set my makeup um i'm sorry i didn't do it on camera but i did set it with the elf plus glow dewy mist it's coconut and argan oil and when i tell you this right here smells so good like it this smells really really good um far as the lip i like the pumpkin lip gloss better than the lacquer only because the lacquer is like a lip gloss it's like a lip gloss, but I feel like the pumping gloss actually gave me a lot more coverage than the other one. Um, I liked the um, the mascara. Now, it was like five different ones. I picked the Lash Extending in black, um, and it had, oh, excuse me, it had like the fibers and everything with it. So that um, it actually adds more like dimension and makes your lashes actually longer um let's see highlighter i did like the uh, highlighter again this is in white gold um i really did like it it's, it's not too extreme or anything like that so i always like highlighters like that um the concealers i really did like the concealers i feel like low-key they could be foundation you see how the one saved me a little bit i'm still on the lighter side um but I look a lot better than what I did. Now, as far as foundation, though, I feel like they definitely need a, a a larger range. Like, it was probably maybe, like, 15. And like I said, this one was the darkest one. So, come on, Elf. Like, I know it might be because of the location. They didn't put, like, darker ones in there. But they need darker ones as far as medium coverage i think it's really light light to medium for real for real. but you can build it up a little bit but you can't go like too too far with it now um the putt this is the putty no okay so far as the putty i would say this um put some type of moisturizer on first and then put this putty on because when i was doing my brows with the concealer it made it like dry down super super quick so you can see like the halo effect i really don't like the little halo around the brows and stuff like that um but it does have like highlighter built into it so if there's something that you like to do like put like highlighter under your makeup you'll definitely like this one and it'll bring um more attention to those points where you actually put the putty um so let's see the um the what is this the i can't think of it <laughs> Oh, the um, blush, the infused blush. I don't know. I really, it's super, super light on me. I like really light blushes, though. I don't like harsh ones unless, like, I'm going out at night in the daytime. I like really, like, rosy, pinky, peachy uh, type of um, blushes. So, I liked it. It does have, like I said, um, primer infused into it. So, that's a plus. Um, now, as far as the bronzer, this is... This is not my bronzer color, like at all. That's I can't I can't do nothing with that. Um, so I can't really give you a, a review on that one because I, I thought it was gonna be like dark enough or light enough to even use like as an under eye. Now, as far as the uh HD powder, I don't know, maybe I need to go get the other ones. I really didn't care too much for it because it's so glittery, glittery. Um but far as like it's super super finely milled like super super i'm sorry the kids are talking over me but it's super finely milled so i can tell like if they had like a brown translucent one or something like that it would it would be a banger like no doubt it'd be a banger 
And I'm, oh, and last but not least, we are gonna talk about this 18 Hits Wonders. Um, so I wanna swatch some for you really, really quick too. So, uh, because I only really use Solar Green and uh, a Solar Evergreen and Electric, which are the brightest colors that are in here. Um, but I want to swatch um, some of the other ones really, really quick for you. So I'll put my arm here. And so this is Supreme. Supreme looks like that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Supreme looks like that. Vibrant. Oh, Vibrant is what I have on the middle. So I like Vibrant. Vibrant was really, really nice. That's a really, really nice one. Moss. Moss is, it looks like one of those dual chrome ones. Uh, peachy, y'all see peachy quartz. There's quartz. Be quiet. This is pave. Pave is like almost, I don't know, pave is like super light. This is velvet. Velvet is here. Can you see it? Velvet. There we go. Uh, electric. So heat. Damn, that one not look good. That's heat. Candy. Oh, there we go. There's candy. Royal. I'll put this next to the other purple one so you get kind of a there's royal it's like a lighter purple of the velvet shade it's probably yeah shade is right there element that's element summer that's summer penny Penny is right here. There we go. And then, and then danger. So make sure I'm over here. And this is danger. So I like them. Um, they just patchy. Like the ones that I use are just patchy. Like I don't know if it's just the, the mats. Maybe the dual chrome and like the other ones are are a nicer um, a nicer finish, well nicer like blendable and everything like that. But those ones weren't really um, blendable to me. I really had to do a lot of work for it to work. But here it is, and I hope you guys really really liked it. Um, so that was my take on a full face of Elf. Um, my total did come up to uh, one thirty three. But I also did buy the one palette that I, I think y'all may want to see. If you do want to see it, make sure to drop a comment down below that you do want to see a uh, review on that one. It's the Kaleidoscope Profusion palette. And that one is like 17 bucks, but you get like 45 shades. So that may be my next video, depending on, you know, if, if that's something you guys want to see. Like I said, definitely let me know because I haven't really seen any brown girls do these type of videos you know so i'm trying to represent for the brown girls and uh see if it works for us just as well as it works for the others uh so on that note i'm going to end the video here i hope you guys are staying safe out there stay healthy uh, make sure you are practicing that social distancing and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe of course all right, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, love, and happiness. Deuce. Where you going? Where you going? You thought you was about to leave. Okay, so look, though, real, real quick. It's some videos either on this side or that side. I need you to click on one, okay? And it's also a little picture of me somewhere. I need you to click on that, okay? Uh, <laughs> we, we on the road to 2K, baby, okay? We almost there, all right? And plus, you quarantining. You're not doing nothing. You might as well watch another video with my antics. I try to be serious with this one, but it's me. 